Oh, folks. Have I got something totally fucking awesome for you today. Now, you know how we all know Wilbur to be a lying, self-serving piece of shit? Well, I've got proof. I've got proof. I've got proof that he's a lying sack of shit. And you know, kids, it's days like today that make it all worth it. It really is. It really is. Okay. So I was going through the case file last night like I do. And I ran across this. This is the um, supplemental memorandum in support of state's motion in Lyman, paragraph seven. I'll leave a, a link down below so you guys can take a look. What this basically is, is Ken Kratz trying to convince the court to allow him to allow the testimony that Teresa Halbach was creeped out by Stephen Avery uh, the time before October 31st that she had stopped by and he answered the door in a towel, that she had testified or that she had stated to some fellow employees at Auto Trader that Stephen Avery creeped her out and she was really uncomfortable being around him. And you know, I was reading this thing last night, I was going through it, I was thinking, okay, if she said that to some Auto Trader employees, which one? And I don't recall that ever being testified to by the auto trader employees that did testify. So, okay. Why would he leave that out during his questioning? So I decided to get really involved <laughs> in this and I've spent the better part of last night and today printing all this stuff up and going through it, and making sure that I had all my I's dotted and all my T's crossed, because you know how I am. And I have proof. Let's go through this. First paragraph, it's all you really need to know, but I'll leave the link in case you want to read the whole damn thing. The state of Wisconsin has requested this court allow prior statements of Teresa Halbach made to co-workers concerning Stephen Avery. Specifically, Halbach described for support staff at Auto Trader Magazine a recent trip to Stephen Avery's property believed to be on October 10th, 2005, where Avery greeted Halbach wearing just a towel while Avery was at his residence. Halbach described the event for Auto Trader employees as Avery being creepy and that the event disturbed Halbach. Okay, so I went through, because there were two employees of Auto Trader. There was Don Plisga and Angela Schuster, who are employed with Auto Trader, who testified for the prosecution. And I went through their, their trial testimony completely with a fine tooth comb, and I didn't find anything anywhere about Stephen Avery having creeped her out and her having said that to any employees at Auto Trader. I also went through the tri trial testimony of Tom Pierce, her business partner. That's all I'm going to say, because I'm sorry, but this was creepy. This was just creepy. But that's another video. Uh <laughs> But now, kids, here's what you've got to understand. This is 19 pages of testimony. This is Thomas Pierce. This is Don Pliska. This is 22 pages of testimony. And this is Angela Schuster. This is 38 pages of trial testimony. And not a single page of this 79 pages of trial testimony did any of them ever testify that Teresa Halbach had said that Stephen Avery creeped her out? In fact, the only reference to that specific incident that Kratz talks about in this motion is from Don Plisga. It's on the very, it's on the second page. And she says, um, let's see, uh, could you describe the words that she used, uh, and then we'll discuss the circumstances surrounding that. And she said, after she was out there around October 10th, it was like a week or so after that, she said 
that she had stated to me that he had come out in a towel. And Kratz says, all right, did Miss Halbach describe for you anything else about that? She said, the only, I just said, really? And she said, yeah. And she said, yeah. And she laughed and just kind of said, ew, you know? And Kratz says, okay, you said kind of what? And she said, ew. And Kratz repeats back, ew. And Dawn says, yeah, just that. Kratz says, I guess not in a positive way, and she answers, no, not in a positive way. Kratz says, did Miss Halbach, or was she seeming to describe a specific event? In other words, was she remembering that event when she was describing it for you? Which is just a really fucking weird question. Who doesn't think of the fucking event when they're describing it to somebody? Kratz, you're padding your fucking questions again, you dick. <laughs> and she says, yes. And Kratz says, at least as far as my offer of proof... The rest is argument. I don't have anything further from Ms. Pliska for this offer of proof. Here's the thing, though, kids. I actually remember somebody saying that Stephen Avery had creeped her out. But it wasn't Teresa Halbach. No, no, no. No, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I give to you Exhibit A, page 332 from the CASO report, which is the second page of a report titled The Interview of Kathy Wilford, who is a former employee of Auto Trader and was actually the photographer who covered the route that Teresa Halbach covered before Teresa Halbach took it over. And she had actually been out to the Avery property a couple of times. And this was taken by Investigator Wiegert on January 4th of 2006. I asked Kathy if at any time Stephen did anything out of the ordinary or suspicious. Kathy stated he, meaning Stephen, did not. However, she stated he creeped me out. Do you realize what this means? This means, this is proof. All of this, all 80 plus pages of this right here is proof that Kratz lied. He lied. Not only did he lie in the press conference, he lied in court and he lied to the jury because he claimed to the jury that Teresa Halbach had said to fellow employees that Stephen Avery had creeped her out and that she was afraid of him. But he never produced a single fucking witness to testify to that. He never produced any proof. He didn't produce shit. All the jury heard was that she had said that and that she was fearful of him, but he never backed it up. And that's why. Because Teresa Halbach didn't actually say that. Another auto trader employee did. Fuck you, Ken Kratz. Ha! I got you, you little son of a bitch. You know, kids, here's the thing. There's another former prosecutor that did something extremely similar a few times. And they were fired. Not only were they fired, but I believe that they were sanctioned. And I believe that there was actually a couple of lawsuits involved with wrongful conviction. You all know this prosecutor. It's Nancy Grace. Now, kids, this is clear prosecutorial misconduct. This is blatant, outright lying to the jury, lying to the public, and misuse of prosecutorial manpower and resources. Because that statement never came out of Teresa Hallbach's mouth. It came out of somebody else's. And Kratz reassigned it to Teresa Halbach because it was expeditious to do so. It supported his narrative. Oh, kids, the things that can happen to Mr. Kratz now. 
All right, so don't forget to subscribe to me here on YouTube. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Mama Phoenix 6 And if you click on over to the About Me page here on my channel, you will find my blog spot as well as my Pinterest boards, my Facebook fan page, all that fun stuff. So thank you all very much for watching. We'll see you soon.